so hello guys welcome back to channel get to bike once again so in this video i am going to start with the new thing i am going to start with the interfacing of a energy metering ic the recent project which i have uploaded on my linkedin also the completion of my ec smart energy meter project so in that one of the very important component which is used is this one hlw8012 which is an energy meter module so this hlw8012 is an energy meter module which is manufactured by the hlw technology it's in a chinese manufacturing ic which is used for measurement of the single phase energy parameters like rms voltage rms current and the rms active power now this ic is relatively very cheap and inexpensive as compared to the other metering ICs of the companies like ST Microelectronics, Analog Devices and the Texas Instruments. Though these companies energy metering ICs are the, they, those have a lot more features, those are industry standard, but as an hobbyist, these are not easily available and are very expensive for me to afford them, to work on them. So thus I researched a lot, I found some of the metering ICs which are compatible for our home appliances for measuring the normal AC measurements and one of such is the HLW8012 energy metering IC. Another IC which is very uh, commonly used as a hobbyist is the ACS712 for measurement of the AC current. But I have used it and I didn't find it much efficient and there are a lot of imperfections involved in this IC. Thus, I and it's very common why the people that they have used this IC within the Arduino built-in libraries. But I want to make it a new project. I want to make it using a, some IC or some module which is uh, which properly gives me the voltage, current, and mod power ratings and are ex inexpensive also. Thus, I have used the HLW8012. Now, in this video, we are going to understand the, how this energy metering IC work. Its data sheet is in, uh, written in Chinese, but I have translated it. So I will make you understand those things. Okay. And then in the subsequent videos, we will be going to write its bare metal code in which we will be printing uh, the, like we will be getting the current voltage and the power from this energy metering IC. So now let's get started. So now the data sheet of this energy metering IC, the official data sheet is in uh, Chinese. So I have translated that into English for understanding of mine also and for the video also. So now starting with it, so HLW8012 as I have told you, it's in a single phase multifunction metering chip. What does it mean? Single phase means it is used for the measurement of AC current of single phase. Multifunction means it can output parameters like it can output multiple parameters and those parameters are uh, voltage, current and the power. All of these three quantities in the RMS form and it provides a high frequency pulse CF for energy metering and high frequency CF for indicating current CF1, current RMS and voltage RMS. So what does it mean that this IC has two pins when we will see in the pinout CF and the CF1. Now CF pin is used for the uh, in, on the CF pin the power output will be the uh, power will be outputted and on the CF1 pin uh, voltage or the current readings will be outputted in the PWM form in the square signal form. Okay. Then the high frequency pulse CF1 can be configured as either voltage or the current for output current. Okay, so like either on CF1 we can measure voltage or current. Same way on the CF pin we can measure the power that is around of the frequency of around 50 to 60 hertz. Okay, active power. So to make this point more clear and understandable to you guys, I have uh, I am going to show you the on the logic analyzer that how my output is from, is being outputted from this HLW8012 module. Okay, so as you can see on the photo over here, the I, this module has the pinout like CF1, 
CF and the SCL pins, which are the main three pins that will be outputting the para electric parameters. Now I have connected the CF1 pin, SCL pin, and CF pin off to my logic analyzer channel uh, 5, 6, and 7. So now if I connect this system and make the system run, so you will see these things like Okay, so now if I increase the voltage, okay, and now you can see on the logic analyzer that, yeah, this is how you are going to see this. CF pin is the power pin, so it is outputting. The, you can see that duty cycle is constant, 50 hertz, but my frequency is being varied as I increase the voltage. Okay, now I have increased the voltage, now you will be able to see that my frequency is not 24, previously it is 16 hertz. Same way out my SEL pin is 1. So my if SEL pin is 1, 1 then I will be getting the current and so does my, you can see OC over also that my duty cycle is constant but my frequency is being varying. Okay, now you can see that my free, this current will be more as I have increased the voltage. Frequency is more than the previous thing. Same way out now if I make this SEL pin to low. Okay, I have set the SEL pin to low. So you can see now SCF1 pin will be having more out is outputting my voltage. That is my, you can see over also duty cycle is constant but my frequency is varying. So that is how I am now what we are going to do. We are going to capture these signals. We are going to calculate these frequencies using the microcontroller like STM32 F103 using timer input capture peripheral to calculate this voltage and the power, power and current rating according to the frequency change. Another thing in terms of features is that if uh, it set as a built-in reference voltage of 2.43 and when the chip goes below 4 voltage, the chip will automatically enter the reset state. Another thing is that it operates from a single 5 volt supply and operates as a current less than 3 ampere. It means that we need to power the IC the HLW8012 IC with the 5 volt of current of with the 5 voltage and minimum current of 3 ampere maximum current and its applications areas are many it can be used for the single phase multifunction energy meters smart sockets digital display meters street lights smart home applications and so on and so far the block diagram is very simple that uh, using the V1, V1N, V1P and V2P, the uh, output, the input is being fed into the HLW8012. Now the one important thing is that HLW8012 works on the principle of shunt register. If you will see now like in the module, this mo it has a this milli ohm register, my micro ohm register across the load. So this energy metering module works on the principle of the shunt resistor base. Okay, so whatever the shunt resistor is, then it is being outputted in the terms of frequency converter. Okay, now if we will come into its pin out, it is very simple. It has eight pins, VDD and this, the left, this side is VDD is the input five voltage that is required for operating this IC. Then V1P, V1N and V2P, these are the input pins which this IC will get. Input means from the AC supply, from the AC load. Okay. And these are the pins which will be are connected to our microcontroller. Ground will be connected to ground and SCL pin will control that whether on CF1 pin we need to output the power or we need to output the current. So if CF pin will be always outputting the power quantity. For interfacing this IC, we need to measure the frequency that these two pins are uh, outputting it and that thing can be done on the microcontroller using the timer input capture mode where we can measure the frequency of the external signal. These two will be the external signals to our microcontroller. So now another thing that I have to just tell you that I have told you that how these pins will be connected. Okay. My VCC ground 5 volt and SCL and CF1 pins will be connected to my microcontroller pins and these three to CF and CF will be timer input capture pins and SCL will be normal GPIO output pin. Now another thing is that is important to understand in this is this one that when you will buy this module you will see that this module has two connectors also in green connectors. 
now the one is the load connector and another one is the supply connector in the in the load connector will be connecting to my this thing let me just zoom out this thing yeah so my load connector i in terms of load i have used this ac fan or the ac bulb so in terms of load i have connected this okay is normal ac load and the supply as you can see over here the other one is the supply connector so for the supply connector what i am using over here is i am using the variac okay so the my ac voltage is coming from there and then using the variac i am inputting my variable ac voltage to this pins supply pin okay to the hlw8012 supply okay so that's how your connection will be also over there for your connections that you need to connect this as so the hlw8012 input pins okay this will be connected to microcontrollers vcc ground and then scl and then input capture pins uh, yeah okay and this will be my supply and load connecting pins in terms of the load you can connect your ac fan also like this one or ac bulb so now in the next video we are going to start the further topics for this ic so that's it for now like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos and share it with your friends